Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve custom colored bottles on your own. These are the dollar water bottles that I got from Walmart. They come in blue, yellow, this is like an aqua, at least that's what I call it, the red, and the mint color. Now you can also get the transparent ones. Of course you have your white ones. You have the pink transparent, you have the blue transparent, and if you can find it, it does come in like a black transparent and a purple. I have never seen the black transparent in my store at all or like in the surrounding Walmarts. So it's kind of hard to find the black and the purple. I'm talking really loud because of course time I decided to do this video, my neighbor wants to cut grass. But when you can't have these bottles, when you don't have the custom colored bottles that comes colored already, you can make your own custom color. This is the lavender color. How do I achieve this look? This is a vintage blush. Kind of messed this one up, but I'll show you how you messed it up. But I love this color. This is, um, this is the satin finish. This is the gloss finish. So the gloss is closer to these as far as feel and the look as far as the shine but some colors don't come in the gloss finish some colors only come in the matte still feels nice and smooth if you depending on how you coat it so you can still get that smooth feel but just depends on how you coat it so I'll show you how I get it this is the Rust-Oleum spray paint and gloss this is the dreamy lavender that gets this look I love it and as you see it was a new color so i had to grab my hands on it and this is the satin finish in the vintage blush and that's how i get this look now if you've never spray painted a bottle if you've never dealt with spray paint if you want to know how it's going to look the top of the bottle is always pretty much an accurate color of what your spray paint will look like so I use all these different colors before they came out with the colored bottles like this because I just seen them for the first time, you know, at the beginning of the spring. Before they came out with these bottles, you know, I was spray painting them because, you know, I didn't want to use the transparent. I just thought it would sell better if my bottles were actually colored. So, and I actually did this gold one. But um, I actually dripped it because I had I, the bottle was perfect. Then I had to go back and fix one little tiny mistake because I touched it when the spray paint was drying. And when I sprayed it, it started dripping. So you have to be very careful. This is this color, the gold. So this one is um, like a farmhouse gold. So this is how I get the gold look. And I love this color. If you want to know what's on this bottle, I did a... I did um, another video, but this is my holographic vinyl, and this is the dark gray, so it just complements it really well. But of course, I made them a whole complete new bottle and sent it, and I just kept this one because I don't throw anything away. I'm probably going to end up doing something else with this bottle because I can easily fix this, do a wood grain effect, do something, spray paint it, epoxy it, glitter it, anything. But, you know, of course, I would peel this off. So we're not going to mess up no bottles today. I'm going to show you how I do my custom bottles up close and personal because I have an order. Um, so, but again, you can buy the, again, you can buy these colors in the store in Walmart. If you can find them, if your store has them, you can only do in-store pickup. You cannot order online, but if you can't get these colors, you can definitely find any spray paint color, pretty much any spray paint color you want, even the mint. So like when I run out of these, I'll just be spray painting because I'm still going to advertise these colors. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for all behind the scenes of my business and just helping you grow your business and crafts. Now, let's get started. you how 
I prep the bottles first. Again, these are the two glass bottles. I want to keep my stainless steel covers and the base the same. I do not spray paint those. So I'm going to put these aside completely out the way. I'm just going to take some alcohol. And of course, this is, oh, this is my good one. I don't want the 91%, but I don't feel like, I normally just use the seven, you know, 91% is hard to find right now. So, there's this fly that's driving me crazy. So all I do is clean my bottles up and down. Normally, I'll sit these like in hot water to take them off easily. I'll do that. At the end you can do it before or at the end so some of the bottles I'm not sure if you can see it on camera some of the bottles do have like little scratches on them and that's another reason why I like spray painting them because it'll cover all the imperfections of the bottles up whereas the ones that are already colored sometimes they do have little scratches on them and there's nothing I can do about that so now after it is clean after the bottle is clean I just take this cheap electrical tape black electrical tape that you get from the Dollar Tree it comes two in a pack and I'm gonna cover the stainless steel part this lasts a good while so all I'm gonna do is This fly is getting on my nerves. As I said, the garage is open. I'm just gonna line it up perfectly on the edge, making sure that no stainless steel is uncovered, but I'm not covering the plastic. So I'm just going to take some extra paper because I want it to hold tight in there and I'm just going to wrap this. You can use anything. This is just what I do. I'm just going to wrap this on here just because I want a tighter fit. I'm going to stick that in just like that and now that won't move. I just want a tighter fit when I'm spray painting. So now this is a custom order. This lady wants purple, purple bottles. So I'm gonna show you how I do my purple bottles. And one of them, she wants a face on it, you know, to bling it out. So I do bling mugs. She wants a bling bottle. I personally don't like the color <laughs> that she chose, but I'll show you that as well. But she wants purple bottles. I told her I had lavender, but she chose the dark purple. And she wants like red and gold hair. This is gonna be one colorful bottle, but she paying for it, so she's going to get the colors that she wants. So I spray, I spray paint inside the box. I'm going to shake it up. Again, this is the, the grape. It's called grape color. And this is a gloss finish. So I just give it a shake. And this helps me to rotate the bottle as well. I'm giving my bottle one more glance over, make sure there's nothing on it. Because once I go, that is it. And I'm just literally gonna spray paint rotating trying to give it a nice coat this is the first coating it's been about an hour because I went in eight and stuck my belly so I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but turn it different angles but it needs put it inside here so you can probably see it a little bit better but it does need um, a second coat some areas are a little lighter than others I'm 
take that off. I'm going to move this one out the way. And I'm just going to lightly um, hit it again. Okay, so we're going to finish the bottles. One of them I have, I have to do mint. This is all for the same order. And of course she has the two purple, but one of the purple is going to get blinged out. So we're going to do that one last. I just have these pool noodles that I'm going to rest the bottle on. And let's start with this one. This one is one of the ones I showed you earlier where you don't have to worry about spray painting it. This is 651 vinyl. This is 651. Oracle 651. I'm just going to use the transfer tape. Again, you do not have to mirror the image. So I just always put it down in the middle and then bend. Just apply pressure. You can use a squeegee. I don't know what happened. I done rearranged my whole room and I still haven't found my, um, my thing. And sometimes it does not pull up. That probably isn't thick enough. So I'm just going to use my hand. My phone going off. Just going to use my hand. See if that picks up. Sometimes this stuff does. Okay. Why it's not picking up today. And that's a new piece of Oracle 651. All right. So that's making me mad. So you can do it like that, but I want to keep everything in line. So I'll just use this. Sometimes that happens. It does not pick up. But because I want to keep everything. That was stubborn. So all I'm doing is just going to place it down the center of the bottle. I see that there's a line on these bottles. So I use that as the back. So there's a line. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll just use that as the back of the bottle. And I'm literally just going to go up the center, making sure that it is straight. That's why I use the noodles so that way I, the bottle does not move. If you saw previous videos of me doing this, my bottle was moving. I had to have my sister do it. So I'll just touch it lightly, put it down lightly, make sure it's straight. Then I will smooth it out because it's a curve. So I don't go straight. I always smooth it out. When you get to the narrow part, that's where you definitely need to make sure you rub it little by little. Not the whole thing. So because I keep turning it around... Alright, so now I just gotta lift this up because it's it will tear easy. Now I've never done that before, but here I am on camera. There we go. I'm just gonna take my finger. There we go. Then once everything is laid down, then I'll rub and press more firmly. Now this bottle, this is all this one is getting. Nothing fancy. So we're just going to keep it moving to the next bottle. Already done. Put the top back on that one. Now you can seal them if you want. Normally I do seal it, but you don't have to. Um, I just seal it because I don't want them to pick it up. So I'm going to do this one. This one is getting the white name, but these actually turned out so great. I've had to do bottles over more than once. One thing about spray paint is you have to coat it evenly. You do have to make sure it coats evenly. So I'm doing the same thing. Now this one is picking up perfectly. I don't know what was going on with Mary. Mary was being contrary. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing. They wanted this one in white. I let my clients pick the font. I give a few fonts. I give them the color option. Okay, so that looks straight. I'm gonna press. So one thing about the spray painting, the spray painted bottles, 
you do have to be really careful because these are the ones that um that you can scratch this is how i've messed up some bottles because the spray painted ones if you scratch it it's not sealed yet we haven't sealed it yet so i have to be very careful when i do these so i'm just trying to smooth that out because there's a bubble so i just take that and go underneath to try to lift back up and smooth it out because once you get to the top of the bottle it gets you know more narrow so literally all I'm doing is taking it there we go then I pull off lightly that's that one so this one will definitely have to get sealed as well okay so this is the girl the face I'm gonna put on the bottle I'm gonna get a new piece of Oracle 651 because the other one was not really transferring good so I'm gonna see if I can get this up with one swoop because there are some smaller pieces the eyes and I just don't have time to be fooling around with this thing. Um, I'm just praying that I can get this up nice and even. And if you see, it only does like dots for the nose. Like, it does not give me a good nose. Let's see if it's going to pick up. This is not picking up. Oh, it picked up the face that way, but it didn't pick up the lips. Let's see if we can get the lips. Oh, I got the lips. Let's see if we can get the eyes. Let's see if we can get the lashes. Come on here. Come on, let's get them eyebrows up. Don't move, the eyebrows are moving. We're gonna come back for the eyebrows because we got everything else. Oh Jesus, yes, we're gonna do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in the right spot. Now the name, this bottle, the name is not going like this. This bottle, the name is gonna go down this way. I'm gonna turn it around afterwards, but I use this to make sure I need at least two inches because the name goes there. So this is gonna come right about here. Making sure that is straight. Go around. Now this hairline. <laughs> See that? The hairline always, so I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go out. But because the pearls and stuff are going on it, you know, it doesn't really matter because I will get bubbles in that. That's all gonna be covered with the bling. I just want everything else down here perfectly smooth. The pearls are gonna go all over that. Because the bottle gets narrower, narrower at the top, I do get, what happened to my lips? My lips didn't stick. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Y'all see that the lips came completely off. Okay, I got to get these lips on here. Wow, my lips came. That never happened before. Now I got to put it back perfectly in place. Mash it down enough. Ooh, baby, come on lips. Don't do that to me now. All right, so now we're the eyebrows. <laughs> eyebrows is hiding. All right, so let's get these eyebrows up. Oh, well, now they come up so easy. Y'all saw that? I'll tell you, you guys. This vine will be working my nerves. Sexy lady. Sexy lady. Put that eyebrow over there. All right.
right, the face is done. Mash that all down. That's the face. And like I said, that's going to get covered up with glue and pearls. Now we're going to get this holographic name on here. So this is my white opal holographic vinyl. Now I thought you was just a little bit about to pick up. I think I got to try to find a better um, transfer vinyl because this doesn't really transfer that great to me. It does not. And you're supposed to be able to use it over and over again. But sometimes, literally, after one time, I can't use it anymore. So, you know, you can kind of save coins out here. So I'll put the, I'm going to turn it back around because I definitely need to see. Because she wanted red and gold hair on a purple bottle, I had to go with the white opal, you know, um, because I definitely didn't want to make it too clashy. Now I'm just going to mash everything else in place. And that's the bottle. So this will get all the bling. I'm going to speed through this really quick. And you guys will see all of that. some black showing so I do got to go back and put a small pearl there a small piece of glue might not be enough Just gonna stick a small piece in there just like that. Alright, so I'm just gonna let this bottle go ahead and dry, and then I will seal everything. I really want to know what y'all think. I really want to know what you all think about this bottle because. I'm not happy with this at all. So I just wanted to end the video by unwrapping it for you. So that way you can see the actual finished product. So I'm just taking off this electrical tape. And as you see, I already did this one. 
the brim is completely protected. I will soak the bottom of this <laughs> before I send it out. But just taking that off because that stays on there nice and tight and protects it. Again, this one wasn't spray painted. I went ahead and added a little bit of bling so that way you can see how, you know, I do them. I do all different styles, you know, just to give it some pizzazz, give it some flair. I'm just trying to find the end piece, this one. It's on there really tight. So that way you don't ever have to worry about messing up the top or the base. So with the color, I messaged her yesterday and she could, you know, she saw the picture. Even though this was about the bottles, these all was one order. So I do, a, I have a full video on this. This will be out before this bottle. So you can definitely check out this video where I bling the glass mugs and I show where I get the glass mugs from and how I supplement it. They are supplemented and um, I added bling to them. So all of these go to the same person for a party, giving them out as gifts. And um, so if you want to check out that video, you can. But I messaged her because she saw on my Instagram, I did a reel on this. And she said, oh my God, they're so beautiful. But then I messaged her about this bottle. I said, well, you know, you're, cause actually this bottle is hers. I said, well, the color combination does clash a little. She tells me after the fact, you could have picked any color you want. You know, I'm like, oh my goodness. So I should have messaged her prior, but you know, hopefully she still loves it because these are the colors that she chose. But these are the finished products. This is something so simple and easy you can do. Personalized bling water bottles. Hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out the rest of my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be blessed.